welcome Tex. Today we're going to be re-thermal pasting this Radeon HD 6970. Uh, these are the tools and that you're going to need to do this job. You're going to need some alcohol, some paper towel, a screwdriver kit, some new thermal pads, and some new thermal paste. So we're going to show you how to do this to an older graphics card, and hopefully you can do this to your card as well if you're careful. Um, it'll definitely yield results in older cards to keep them clean, bring the temperature down. So stay tuned to the end of the video for the result. Okay guys, so you're going to need a screwdriver here. Um, just so you know, these are war uh, warranty stickers. So usually if you remove these stickers, um, the card has no more warranty. Or they won't, they'll charge you for the warranty. So we're just going to disregard the stickers for now. Whether we use the talking or not. Spring. Okay, so there's spring loaded bolts on the bottom of or springs on the bottom of these screws, so we'll try not to lose them. Okay, so we're gonna have to take this big back plate off. And I strongly advise you to, to pattern out your screws just so you know where they came from and you don't cross thread anything. Looking at you, bro. <laughs> I know. Almost definitely all these screws will be the same size, so it doesn't matter as much, but I still have had issues getting screws to go in straight if it didn't come from there, especially if there's any kind of Loctite or any kind of threading protection on it. Yeah. Where you end up forcing it in and it goes in to, you know, crook it or... It bulges a piece of plastic out. Yep. Something tells me you've seen that before. Done it before. <laughs> Yeah, we're not LTT here, so we won't be doing that. <laughs> and uh, when I say LTT, I mean linens, toys, and tricks. <laughs> okay, so I think this is pretty much ready to come off. Okay, so here's our back plate all pristine and clean. And now if we're straight, this should just come off now unless there's some screws here. You might want to let them know too that it's a brand new card. Yeah, so just so you guys know, this is a brand new card. We just received it last week. But we're actually seeing some type of oxidization or discoloration here on the PCB. So I don't know if this got wet or... What this is, there's nothing on the back plate. But you can see it all just here. So let's try and get this apart now. Okay, so actually I think we're gonna have to take these out. Some screws here I believe need to come out to detach the cooler. Okay. Okay, so here's our eight-year-old graphics card and as you can see um, the thermal pads are damaged so they're old I mean I wouldn't have actually expected them to to be like this but we're gonna clean all this off I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like there's also some discoloration going on. Okay, so let's just get rid of all these thermal pads. Stop it.
guys, so that's our video for today. Rethermal pasting and rethermal padding this HD6970. Uh, stay tuned for a future video. We're going to do the same thing to a GTX 680. And then we're going to have another video and we're going to pit them against each other to see which is the most powerful card. Uh, also, if you want to see how to rethermal paste a newer card, you can check the video above for an RX 580 we did a few months ago. Um, and if you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.